there's a growing wave of agreement that the burgeoning number of women behind bars needs desperate attention. While the drama web series Orange is the New Black has enraptured viewers, the problems of female prisoners and the reasons why they've been locked up in the first place, some believe should take a more prominent place in public policy debates about mass incarceration and criminal justice reform. Kentuckian Holly Harris is back in Kentucky, and she's with the Justice Action Network, and she's trying to elevate that conversation, and she tells us all about it coming up this weekend on Connections. Welcome home, Miss Holly. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. It's great to have you. And let's give some people a primer about Justice Action Network, what it is and the work that you're doing. So it's the largest bipartisan organization uh, working to reform our broken justice system at both the state and the federal level. Uh, we work with groups as different as Freedom Works, Conservative Freedom Works, you know, which is working with the NAACP. So mm -hmm. a lot of groups that rarely agree on anything all coming together because they agree on criminal justice reform policy. They all have different perspectives. You know, some of them care very deeply about, you know, wasteful spending and government overreach. You know, others care very deeply about the racial disparities in our system and certainly how we're impacting families. And women, female incarceration, you just had a great conference. Uh, un women Unshackled had some heavy hitters at that conference from both sides of the aisle. So tell us about that and some of the work you hope to see come from it. Well, we had, uh, again, right, left, right, left. We had right. uh, Representative Doug Collins from Georgia, a conservative, taking the stage with a Senator Kamala Harris, a progressive from California, um, taking the stage with a Governor Mary Fallon, again, a conservative from, from Oklahoma. Um, so, again, very diverse voices. But I actually became very passionate about this issue because I visited a jail in Louisville um, this past year, um, and I visited the treatment wing. All of the women there were dealing with with addiction issues mm -hmm. and um, you know I asked all the women how many of you all are mothers every hand went up I asked how many of you all get to visit with your children total silence and then the director of the jail said something very profound to me he said for whatever reason the men get lots of visitors no one comes to visit the women so I started mm -hmm. doing some research and realized you know the female prison population has exploded 744 percent over the last few decades like since you know 1980 and no one's talking about this. Right. We do talk a lot about racial disparities in our system, which are incredibly important, but no one's talking about women and this epidemic of incarceration that we're starting to see. And you mentioned during our longer interview that children of incarcerated parents are five times more likely to enter into that interface with that system themselves. So this is a generational, perhaps, issue that really needs to be addressed to keep that from happening, to stop that cycle. Absolutely. In the state that has the highest rate of children who've had an incarcerated parent, Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. But I do have some good news. Kentucky is, is being viewed uh, as one of the most forward-thinking states right now with respect to criminal justice reform policy. I think there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, the public safety impact of these reforms, they've been proven in states like Texas, Georgia, South Carolina, to lower crime and recidivism rates. They also save hundreds of millions of dollars, and we're in a budget crisis yeah. right now. I think we're getting ready to go into a special session to address tax reform and, and pension reform. Hopefully, criminal justice reform will be a part of that conversation. And then, of course, how this is impacting families. You know, one in four uh, women who are entering our justice system right now are either pregnant or mothers to children under the age of one. And if yeah. that doesn't break your heart, I'm not sure what will. Yeah. Well, she, Holly Harris, shares a lot of great information coming up on Connections this weekend about female incarceration and criminal justice reform efforts and successes right here in Kentucky. Coming up Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2 and Sunday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time on KET, the main channel. And you can watch online anytime after that, KET.org slash connections. Hope you'll join us.